What's up guys, I'm John, you're watching Johnny Fabs, and today we are going to be working on our Datsun. We're going to be installing and uh, making a bracket for our drive-by wire uh, throttle pedal since we are doing the LS and it has the newer style with the drive-by wire throttle body. We have to put the pedal in. Um, so right now on the Datsun, it's a mechanical, I had a linkage. So we're going to modify that pedal and make it work with our... Um, GM performance uh, gas pedal so we're gonna get into it I'm gonna take you guys along I haven't seen any videos on doing this on a Datsun 280ZX so we're gonna go ahead and get started so we're inside uh, the car and there's two 10 millimeter uh, bolts one right there one right there and that's gonna take our stock gas pedal out um, as you can tell this one's bent it was bent uh, on the previous build because the trans tunnel was so close so we bent it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull this out and we'll test fit the new one. So I got the pedal out, the OEM pedal uh, here, and then uh, here's the new pedal. This is the one off of Summit. We can link this below, and I already went ahead and loosened this bracket up. And then I think I'm going to use this part of the pedal, the original one, and um, fabricate it to this pedal somehow. So I'm going to start by taking this one apart, pulling this little snap ring off and we'll get that base off and then we'll start modifying it. Alright you guys, so I just went ahead and put this in the car and then uh, kind of seen where I need to have this. And it comes out, I just need to have it butted up just about like that for the distance to be right. So I found this angle iron, I cut it up and uh, so it's going to fit like that. I'm going to cut these sides off and then uh, we'll weld it to that bracket and uh, yeah, we'll make it work. So next I'm going to cut this section off and get this flat so we can have our plates on there. Alright, so I just went ahead and welded that angle iron up to the stock 280ZX bracket. I ended up cutting those tabs off. Um, these tabs right here, cut these off flush, and then welded the angle iron and boxed it in. Um, I welded this cap on, so that's done. And then we're going to start mounting our GM um, pedal to this. So I'm going to uh, bolt this up to the car and then uh, see where our pedal looks good and is going to fit with our trans tunnel. And then I'm going to weld, since that's a steel bracket, weld that bracket to this and then it should be good to go. So I just test fit the pedal with this uh, bracket. Everything looks okay. Um, I think I'm going to bend the back side of the bracket so it fits around here and then it's going to give us a good uh, place to uh, weld it onto here. So I'm going to do that now. So with this pedal assembly, um, this part right here used to be straight across all the way over here. So I broke it 90 up 
um, and that's going to allow me to weld it on the back side of that. Um, but with this tab being longer than this, uh, as you can see, I had to cut it down right here. I cut this bit off. Um, there is a break line right there, so you could cut it right there uh, just for reference. And uh, so I cut that off, and then what it's going to look like um, it's basically it's going to be like this. Um, so I'm going to be able to weld all the way around that, and it should be really sound. And then if we do need to replace the pedal, you can just take the three bolts out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and test fit it to get the angle of this pedal right, and uh, show you guys what it looks like in the car. So I'm going to install our factory bracket that I added the steel to right here. Uh, just one bolt at the bottom. And then one bolt at the top. And then these are 10 millimeter. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten it up. So that should be good. And then we have our pedal assembly that I bent the bracket. And then that's going to go like that. So I'm going to show you guys a different angle where the pedal placement is. So here's a look from this side. Um, and again, you guys can mount this wherever you guys want. Um, up and down. Um, and side to side. But this is going to be the easiest way. Um, so it's going to look pretty much like that. And then once I get it set, I'm going to use a sharpie and mark it. And then that way when I come back, uh, pull all this out, I know where to weld it on at. So, or you could tack it on, but I don't recommend it. And uh, because this is plastic and uh, you don't want to get anything hot. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sharpie it and then take it out. Alright you guys. Um... So here's the bracket, and you can see the sharpie. And then it's going to line up with that sharpie mark. And then since there's a gap here, I'm going to fully weld it on the back side, right here where it's all surfaces are touching. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off, these 310 mils, and, that, and then we can get started welding. that off and then again with the bracket it's going to be like this and then where that sharpie mark is lining up and then on mine I have it there's a hump right here on this bracket um, so that makes it be able to tilt um, so I want mine flush at the bottom and then a gap up here but none of this really matters because you're going to have all this surface area to weld it's going to be nice and strong so I'm going to go ahead and get this clamped up and then start welding it so now that I tacked it um, I'm going to go ahead and bolt this back on and then test fit it in the car that way uh, you know for sure that it's where you want it it's the right angle height and everything um, before you go ahead and fully weld it that way uh, everything is exactly where you want it so I'm gonna do that now and then um, we're gonna fully weld it Alright guys, so I got the pedal mounted in the cab, or in the car, and uh, you can see it clears the trans tunnel, and it's got full travel, and then it's lined up with the other pedals uh, pretty good, so it should work alright. 
Uh, the next step is probably going to be wiring it up with the Holly Terminator X uh, that has the drive-by wire. So we'll have to figure that out when we get the motor back in and the wiring uh, started. But that's going to be it for mounting the drive-by wire pedal to the 280ZX. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button and uh, comment what you think. And then if you guys are doing a 280ZX uh, build with the LS, uh, hope this helped for you guys. So, yep, peace.